Hello, guys. Um, I hope everybody is really doing well. So, long time <laughs> I'm making uh, this uh, video on uh, technical analysis of Bitcoin. And what do I see going ahead uh, for the Bitcoin, guys? I mean, I have been very vocal about it uh, since we break out of uh, $24,000. And uh, so, at that point of time, since uh, we were bullish. And uh, Bitcoin has also achieved our, you know, primary target. And... Uh, Overall, you know, I have uh, sold all my Bitcoin at $70,400. We played very nicely the whole pump from 40 k to, you know, even from $32,000. And even, you know, we bought some at 60 k and then we have sold all at $70,400. $70, so what is next for Bitcoin? I mean, the whole, since past few months, what we are watching is uh, Bitcoin has been in some sort of a sideways uh, correction and... Uh, you know, uh, so what exactly? A lot of people have anxiety as to what Bitcoin is going to do next, uh, whether it's stopped out, whether, you know, it's going to have its own continuation towards upside. So what is going to happen? Well, today we will be discussing on this stream uh, what do I think uh, that Bitcoin will do, uh, you know, in the next few months down the line. Uh, so let's uh, get to it. So if you look at here, this is the BLX chart, uh, Bitcoin liquidity index, and this is the weekly chart. And uh, I have two scenarios over here for the Bitcoin. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, the, the two scenarios are like the bull case and the bear case. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, we were never in the bear market. The dump that we got, uh, the dump that we had in 2022, that was not a bear market. That was like a accumulation happening for like a continuation of this bull run. The bull run began from $3,100 and we just had a continuation of that bull run. And now, you know, after we topped out, we are now in some sort of like a bigger accumulation that's happening for a Bitcoin. So first of all, I'll be starting the analysis from the bear case because that is very valid as well. So this is the bear case scenario for Bitcoin. And uh, you won't believe the target for this bear case scenario for Bitcoin is $484,000. And why do I say this? I'm not, I'm not mad actually. <laughs> yeah, this is the target for the Bitcoin. But that target is more likely going to achieve somewhere in 2028 and 2029. That's where the next bull run uh, would be. And that would be very, very, very huge in my view. And, uh, you know, this is this is what we expect or I expect uh, practically for Bitcoin. This is the bear case scenario. So if I'm saying that Bitcoin is going to pump to 400 or 484 thousand dollars, then why is this bear case scenario? Well, let's have a look at it. So if you look at the uh, pump that we had on Bitcoin since 2018, uh, in 2018, we bottomed around 3,150. And since then, we have been in the bull run and Bitcoin started pumping up uh, to the new all-time highs in uh, 2021 April. And later, it met another new all-time highs in October 2021. So that was like, you know, uh, some sort of like top uh, at that point of time. Later on, uh, we started a bear market in 2021 and 2022, where we bottomed around fifteen thousand uh, dollars. After that, we got an upside move. But the problem with this upside move is uh, there are two two issues with this upside move. First, the upside move happened on Bitcoin with the wave two being too shallow. Normally, yes, wave two can be shallow. Uh, that's not a problem. The problem main here is that, you know, the, on various exchanges, this uh, literally swept, I mean, this wave two swept the previous lows of 25,000 like here. It took a liquidity on many other exchanges. It did not. So overall, it's very, very difficult to say that, you know, uh, this is literally your wave two. However, uh, I'm considering for the bear case scenario, in my view, this is some sort of a wave B looking to the volume. And if you look at from the, the pump that we got for, uh, you know, from 24,500 uh, to $25,000, the pump that we got, we made new all time highs in, you know, in, in March 2024 of this year, uh, like I would say a few months back. This B wave is, a, is like an irregular expanded flat. 
And after you see this, even if, let's say this B wave plays out, so let's say this pump is your B wave. Now the B wave has its characteristics. The B wave can be either, you know, uh, ABC or maybe, you know, it can be WXY as well. Or it, the B wave can also be five waves actually. Very, very likelihood of B being a five waves. So right now we are seeing three waves structure. So this is A, B and C. This is a clear three waves uh, structure that, you know, we are uh, having at this point. And uh, so let's say if the top is in, if, uh, if the Bitcoin top is in, then, you know, the BTC is going to dump towards uh, a minimum target of $19,000, which is 0.14 Fibonacci level of this overall range that you're having. And, you know, it is going to go for an accumulation and we will be having a bottom. The bottom would be somewhere around 2025 to 2026, somewhere between 2025 and next year. And, uh, you know, early 2026, that's where the bottom would be. And we will start a new bull run uh, for Bitcoin uh, from 2026 till 2028. And that Bitcoin bull run is going to take Bitcoin towards $484,000. So what you should be doing in this case. Now, this is like a hard on time frame scenario I'm telling guys. In this hard on time frame, normally B wave targets uh, anywhere from the previous all time highs to 1414 Fibonacci levels, which means that in case if B wave goes for five waves, this is wave one, this is wave two, wave three, and wave four. And if we have to go one more push on an upside, yes, B wave can literally pump it up to $100,000. Uh, to finish this move and then we can do something like this so still it will be your b wave and it is not going to be any bull run which is going to take bitcoin to four hundred thousand dollars maybe i mean not even beyond one hundred twenty seven thousand dollars to be precise so yes uh if let's say we will be having one more push up going ahead in the next few months then that push is going to be maxed out somewhere around 100k and max it can even like full fledged extension would be around 127 but if you really want to have a precise uh, levels for uh, you know the wave 5 target then i can give you that as well the precise levels for the wave 5 target would be around 1414 which would be around 80 how much it is roughly around uh, so as you can see it is roughly around eighty seven thousand dollars so that's where you know the eighty seven thousand dollars would be the precise number and i don't see bitcoin going anywhere above eighty seven thousand dollars no uh this is going to be the end if we really have to go one more push on an upside so that is uh, your bad case scenario for Bitcoin. And if this is a very high likely scenario, guys, and uh, trust me, this is literally going to wreck many. Why? Because everybody expects 120, 140K and even 150K. But what is going to happen, uh, you know, that eventually we are going to dump back down to $19,000. We can even go for irregular expanded flat, not the running flat, an expanded flat would be that it takes out the previous lows, it goes beyond 15K and it can even go to 14K levels or 13K support. And after that, we can just simply go run back turbo. So that is your bear case scenario. But hey, uh, this is not literally the bear market. This is like an accumulation that's happening. Look at it. You started a bull run. We were in an uptrend from $3,000 and that is your bigger accumulation that's happening the bigger the accumulation the more bigger the expansion and that's where you need a bigger bigger accumulation so as to reach that four hundred thousand dollar levels for bitcoin you you simply can't pump bitcoin from here to four hundred thousand dollars i mean i don't see it that way but yes if we want to reach to four hundred thousand dollars this is how it should do actually 
and this perfectly aligns with my higher target degree of fib which is 2414 as you can see here around $82,000. So somewhere around eighty to eighty-seven thousand dollars in case if we go for one more push in October, November of this 2024, then that is that's it. I mean that is going to be your push on uh, Bitcoin. That is going to be like exit the overall market and just run away. That's what even I would do uh, for the Bitcoin. For lower term time frame analysis, if you really want to know about it, uh, just simply wait for it. I'll post more videos or you can simply uh, check my live streams, which, it, which are publicly posted. So I do daily live streams in our Discord uh, community, 21M Technicals. That's where we trade. That's where I share my plans and that's where we make money out of it. Also, along with the educational content. So uh, let's also talk about the bull case. Of course, everybody wants to uh, look for the bull case scenario as well. Here it is. Well, if you're talking about the bull case scenario, uh, you really don't want Bitcoin to go under, you know, $49,000. Why? Because if Bitcoin goes under $49,000, that literally invalidates this whole bull case. A single daily close under $49,000 and class. Bitcoin game is over. So practically this scenario is going to then be invalidated. So let's say if this scenario, the bull case scenario plays out, what would be the target for Bitcoin? If the, this bull case scenario, if we are holding $49,000 and let's say October, November gives us that pump for Bitcoin, what would be the target? The target for Bitcoin would be $147,000. That's your equilibrium of the equal range. So you have a range, right? Uh, so this is your uh, range highs of the previous bull run. And this is your range lows for the previous bear market. Uh, that's like a bottom. So you, can, you take an equal range from here, from the highs, and uh, you will find the levels uh, for Bitcoin, the equilibrium is around 146 and the top would be around $300,000. So that is going to be your target for Bitcoin. Maximum, it will go $300,000. But if you know, it's not going to go that quickly. There will be a lot and lot of choppiness, a lot and lot of uh, accumulations and a lot and lot of bigger dumps that will happen in between. Yes, we will see a sharp rejection from $147,000. This equilibrium we will find support at $83,000. And later on, if uh, we will continue for this $300,000. So this is going to be your bull case scenario for Bitcoin. And after this bull case, once we are done with this bull case, the, the target for Bitcoin would be uh, somewhere around close to uh, 60,000. And uh, it can even dump it back down to $33,000. But 33,000 would ultimately be your support at that point of time and after which we will continue further to half a million dollar. So that's your bull case. How much weight do I give to this bull case scenario? At this point, looking to the structures we are having, I think the probability is less than 50% for this to play out. The reasoning I have is very, very strong. Uh, why do I give more weight to bear market or to the bear uh, scenario? Let's check it out. If you go to the USD dominance, well, first of all, those who don't know exactly what is the USD dominance, this chart tells you the percentage of USDT uh, circulating in the market versus uh, the overall crypto market, practically, which means that if the USDT dominance is 6%, means that of the total crypto market cap, 6% money is in USDT at this point. The more stronger the USDT means that people are exiting the market and they are, you know, uh, accumulating more and more USDT so that in case of big dump, they can buy more and they can accumulate it actually. So that's what the USD dominance. Yes, you might uh, argue with me or you might, you know, want me that, hey, you should also be looking to USDC and other stable coins, but no. I'll be simply looking to USD dominance because USD dominance is the oldest stable coin as well as, you know, um, uh, I mean, uh, it is perfectly correlated with the total crypto market cap. So in um, otherwise, uh, 
if you see that you know total crypto market cap versus us dominance that makes perfect sense why i feel the you know bear market scenario is having a slight higher weight than the bull market scenario if you look at the years of dominance on the weekly time frame yes we had a double top with that is a strong liquidity pool and the move that we you know had on the downside that was a complete zigzag move that was really a zigzag is abc another abc and then we formed a triangle for the b wave and then we started dumping with five waves on the downside. So honestly, you know, USD dominance is literally above 5.66%. That is your range lows. You get acceptance, that is going to be like a deviation. This dump is like a deviation. It gets acceptance and then, you know, we just keeps on pumping to 7.4%, come back down as a retest and then we pump it up to, 10% that's how it will go however this is the heart and prime same scenario and that's the reason I am giving more weightage to the bear case scenario on the heart and time frame just look at the weekly RSI on how the USD dominance looks like the weekly RSI is so looking good we got a perfect breakout you have flipped 50% on the RSI. Also, the RSI is above the RSI based MA lines. Everything is looking great for a further run up. Just look at the BLX index and look at, you know, the uh, monthly chart for the, the Bitcoin. So let me just show you the monthly as well uh, on RSI perspective, you know. Uh, so let me hide all this yep so just look at the first look at the weekly time frame and then i'll show you the monthly as well so in april when everybody was making fun of me i mentioned that we had a very strong bearish engulfing candle in the month of april and everybody was like no this is not an engulfing candle this is something else and i was like no an engulfing candle normally retraces to 786 Fibonacci level of an engulfed candle, basically the blue one that you're watching. We literally retraced to the 786 and then we started dumping from there. It's almost like 30% dump, you know, and uh, perfectly, perfectly played out. We sold it. We sold the top actually, that what I would say. You're looking at the monthly, <laughs> this is very nasty. The monthly is having a perfect, perfect, I would say, bear divergence over here very strong bear divergence over here i mean this is one of the scariest moments of my life honestly and uh, we have already lost on the monthly the rsi based ma lines because you know once you lose the rsi based ma kalas that's a very tough game to play actually because then we will be targeting the 50 percent levels on rsi only then we will see some sort of a bounce so monthly is definitely not looking great for Bitcoin at this point. If, if you look at the weekly uh, RSI, it's bearish. We are literally under 50%. The trend is downtrend and you are having another bad divergence on the weekly. As you can see, you know, the RSI making lower highs and what happened with the price, the price just made higher highs. So practically speaking, that uh, that is not really a good sign so weekly and monthly is having a strong bear divergence ladies and gentlemen which is a not a good part for bitcoin so everybody wants bitcoin to pump up to new all-time highs yes even i want it but honestly i don't have any bitcoin at this point i want to buy so for lower time frame analysis uh, you can check my live streams i have posted uh, or you can come join me in the 21M technicals to have regular updates and the trading plans and educational content. So uh, this is, you know, what the plan they have for Bitcoin. So what exactly do you guys feel should be playing out? What, whatever you have heard from me on this YouTube video, what do you guys think? Just comment uh, what you guys think on for Bitcoin, whether the bull case, whether the bear case. And uh, if you feel that no, both are not gonna play out, then what do you think is going to play out? 
stay tuned for the next video guys i hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel and share it to all your friends families and also uh, do follow me on the twitter for more regular updates my twitter account is trader tmv uh, it's mentioned in the description if you'd like to join uh, me um, in trading yes uh, we have a community the discord community 21m technicals you can join us very nominal fee guys 34.9 dollars and yes you can get a good discount as well so the that's all for the today's uh video have a nice day bye bye